Hello everybody, this is Refresh and I'm here to take a look at Ultra Pro's Magic the Gathering matte deck protector sleeves with Chroma Fusion technology. This is a new style of illustrated deck protector sleeves from Ultra Pro beginning with Magic 2019. I've already reviewed Magic's previous two formulas for their deck protector sleeves and now I'm taking a look at their latest iteration which is supposedly their strongest yet. One pack of these sleeves cost $8.99 MSRP and for that you get 80 sleeves which is an average of around 11 cents per sleeve. This is expensive as all the illustrated sleeves have proven to be in the past and so you really don't want to get these unless you are specifically interested in the artwork in the sleeve and that makes the difference in cents per sleeve for you at almost double the cost of other sleeves. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have inside. The sleeves are glossy and smooth on the back and then matte on the front. As you can see, Ultra Pro has removed the usage of their hologram here, so they don't even have the clear one anymore. This is a hologramless sleeve, and that may matter to some of you. Now let's measure the thickness. I have 80 sleeves here. They're going at approximately 1.7 millimeters thick, which is a thickness of about to 12 and a half microns per sleeve or 106 and a quarter microns per face. Now we'll measure the dimensions. The sleeves are 67 millimeters wide by 91 millimeters tall. We'll go ahead and see how a card fits. I have a standard Magic the Gathering card here and we'll put it inside. It fits quite well. There is a little bit of room for play on each side meaning that perhaps these sleeves were designed with just enough space for a perfect fit double sleeve, but I have no means of testing that at the moment. There is a little bit of space between the opening of the sleeve and the top edge of the card. As you can see, it does mean that the top edge is fully visible from the opening of the sleeve, and that does mean that there is the possibility of dust or debris to get in there, as well as sleeves being able to hit each other or hit the nick, the top edge of the card, if another card might fall in there for some reason. So that is a little bit of a downside of the tightness of the sleeve. However, it does mean that there is not a lot of space around the edge. And so it does mean that the border that the sleeve creates is uniform. And that is a bit more aesthetically pleasing. And as you can see, the matte surface does mean that the artwork is just slightly dulled as compared to the original artwork. However, it's not terrible and certainly playable and it does reduce the amount of glare that you experience from the front of the card. Now we'll do the sleeve test. I have a 60 card magic deck here and I'm going to put it into 60 of these sleeves and see how long it takes. Ready, set, go! <laughs> That took two minutes and 42 seconds to sleeve this 60 card deck. And that's a fairly zippy speed of 2.7 seconds per card sleeved, which is pretty close to what the last iteration of the sleeves were, particularly in the glossy formula for Ultra Pro's last illustrated sleeves. And I felt like the sleeving process was very easy. The card slipped in without any resistance at all and it does make me wonder if they're going to actually stay in once you start handling them, but I had zero problems with the sleeving process and felt that it was quite smooth. Now that we have sleeved the cards, let's check for some consistency and uniformity out of the pack. The tops are entirely consistent in terms of their size. The widths are a little bit inconsistent. There are definitely some sleeves here that are wider than the others, and you can definitely feel that as you run your hands across the side. So it's entirely possible to pick out certain sleeves by a slight difference in their width. It's not very different, but it is noticeable and that might be alarming for some of you. Fortunately, there have been no cards that could not fit into their sleeves, nor sleeves that felt like they wouldn't accept cards at the same rate. And so it is something to be aware of, but I don't think it is a reason to be concerned at the moment. And you can sort of see 
the differences of the edges very visibly from the side because the lines, they cast shadows because of their slight differences in thickness. But aside from the differences in terms of their thickness, these sleeves appear to be fairly high quality. There don't appear to be any blemishes or debris or markings or dents in any of the sleeves except for some very mild cosmetic dents that you can see in some of the sleeves right out of the package. But otherwise, they seem to be in pretty good condition. Now it's time for the shuffle test. I'm gonna shuffle this 60 card sleeved deck 100 times and see how long it takes. Ready, set, go. <laughs> It took two minutes and 23 seconds to shuffle these sleeved cards 100 times. And that is a very good speed of 1.43 seconds per shuffle. These are the fastest shuffling illustrated sleeves that I have ever sh handled. And I really, really appreciate how easy it is to slip the sleeves right into each other. With past illustrated sleeves, there's always been a bit of a thickness to the edge of the sleeve, causing the sleeves to bounce as you put the sleeves into each other. But these sleeves, they just go right into each other. And that's part of the reasons why the sleeves handled so quickly. And this was despite the fact that I dropped the sleeves a couple times because I was a little over eager with trying to get the sleeves to shuffle a little faster. And so even with the timing loss from doing so, I felt like the speed of the shuffling these sleeves is very good. And while there is a little bit of a resistance to the sleeves being put fully into each other just because of the grippiness of the glossy side, I did feel like this was a very pleasant shuffle, especially for illustrated sleeves, because this is far better than what we've experienced in the past when it comes to the handling of illustrated sleeves. And so I really appreciated the handling of these sleeves. Now that we've handled these sleeves a bit, let's go ahead and take a look and see if there is any significant wear on the surface of the sleeves or on the sides. All right, there does appear to be some denting on the glossy art surface of the sleeves, but I think that was there straight out of the package. And so I don't think it's something that was imparted by handling. And if you look at the corners and the sides of the sleeves, there is absolutely no wear at all, which is a marked improvement from previous iterations of these sleeves. And so I think that the new formula is actually significantly better, especially in terms of how the art is fused with the surface of the sleeve such that it doesn't really want to peel. And that was a major problem with all previous iterations of the sleeves, including the last ones, which were pretty good, but after a while you can really see the chips and the dents in the sides and then eventually in the corners of the sleeve. And so this is a marked improvement in terms of their overall durability. Now it's time for the shake test. I've stacked these sleeve cards into a deck and I'm going to shake the table that they're on for a couple of seconds to see how it holds up. Ready, set, Go. Okay. The top of the deck slid just a little bit off the bottom of the deck, but it doesn't seem like there's much budging going on and doesn't look like any amount of, of wobbling will cause the deck to necessarily fall. And so I do think that this is going to be a very stable deck and it is a pass. Next, I'm gonna do the draw test. I'm gonna draw three cards off the top of this deck and see how well the deck holds up. Ready, set, go. Okay. As you can see, the cards slide just a little bit as you pull cards off the top, but it doesn't look like it's gonna to topple anytime soon. And while there it was a bit of air when I first put the cards in the sleeves, there's not much of a significant or accordion effect at all with these sleeves. And so they are really dense and they don't look like they're going to be toppling once you have sleeved them up and put them into a deck. So Ultra Pro's Chrome Infusion technology appears to be a really, really good iteration of their illustrated sleeves. I found marked improvements in both the durability and the handling of these card sleeves. They're both smoother than any other illustrated sleeve to handle that I've experienced. And there is no considerable wear after my initial usage here. And so I really think that these are going to be excellent illustrated sleeves if you are looking for illustrated sleeves. Now, there's still the ongoing issue of the variability in the thickness of the sleeves, which you can feel, but it, I don't think it's going to be a 
major problem in terms of the sleeves usability. The sleeves do appear to accept the cards with plenty of space and so I don't think that you're going to end up with sleeves that are too thin. The other considerable issue is that some of the sleeves do come with a little bit of wear already on the surface of the sleeves in, in terms of denting or spotting on the glossy illustrated side. However, it is very minor and you can't really notice it unless you look at it really close with a lot of glare on the sleeves. And so it's not something that I think is going to be a major deficit, especially compared to other illustrated sleeves. These are pretty common on those sleeves as well. All in all, I think that these are the best iteration of Ultra Pro's illustrated sleeves yet. And if you want magic illustrated sleeves in particular, Ultra Pro is going to be your only option. And so I do appreciate that they have upgraded their formula for their illustrated sleeves and making their illustrated sleeves actually worth the extra money that you want to pay for it. Now again, you really are paying extra for the art and so I can't recommend these unless you particularly like the artwork. Otherwise, there are plenty of other better sleeves that you can get for much less per sleeve. However, if you are a fan of this Magic the Gathering artwork or artwork with from any other Ultra Pro sleeves that uses Chroma Fusion technology. These are sleeves that I can happily recommend because they are pretty good. Let me know what you thought about these sleeves if you had a chance to handle them. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more such videos, hit subscribe. I have links to service in the description box below in terms of the durability and the consistency of the sleeves. And if you have any experience with these sleeves or other sleeves of this size. Click on the links, share your experiences, so, and the information will be available at the Init Games' resource page. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. This was Refresh, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.